Hey, what's going on YouTube? Today I'm gonna to be talking about how I started my 3D printing business, how I plan on integrating YouTube videos and talking about that and just giving some tips and tricks. Uh, not really from an expert, but just from, from someone who's starting out. I do want to really get into YouTube and uh, we'll get back into YouTube and start putting out more consistent videos. So you're gonna be seeing a lot more uncut videos like this one, as well as a lot of shorts. So if you're interested in woodworking and 3D printing business, go ahead and give me a follow and follow me along my journey as I start my 3D printing business. And uh, I just talk shop, talk about tips. And uh, if you guys want to buy any of the things, I will be selling them, obviously, because that's what a business is. Let me know in the comments down below, but also just give me your feedback on everything. I appreciate you guys tuning into the video. Let's get right into it. So like I said, a lot of these videos are going to be uncut. So I am just going to be, uh, you know, taking a couple of videos, putting them together. And uh, I really want to be able to do some more YouTube content. And this is the way I can do it and still keep up with my busy schedule. So just going to quickly run over my 3D printing business and kind of how I started this and why I started this and kind of where we are now and where we plan on moving. So it all started with this. So I actually got a job at Best Buy as a sales manager. And uh, we sell these printers. These, This one right here is the Anchor Make M5C. Got the box right here and uh, quickly fell in love with it started printing really cool like little snowmen and i was like you know what like maybe i can turn this into a business but looking at this printer realizing like i probably needed more than just one printer if i wanted to actually start a business a start a business so then i went and uh, luckily it's right around black friday time uh bamboo labs had their uh, p1s on a crazy good sale down at micro center and it came with the ams and the printer for like 750 bucks or something so i picked that up and uh started pr printing with this and realized the dramatic difference between something like this and something like this this is fantastic i don't want to say anything bad about this printer i just once i got this printer here was blown away with how i could literally grab a file click print bring it or bring it in the bamboo studios uh click print and how easy this was to use so that uh, that prompted me after having a good experience with this one uh, it prompted me to go ahead and pick up the A1 with the AMS as well. So I wasn't going to pick up these AMSs or AMS lights, but then looking into what I wanted to do, uh, I really decided like, hey, it makes sense to spend the extra 200 bucks because they were both on sale. Uh, it made sense to buy the AMS systems even if I was just going to be loading the same color filaments because the reason I actually started this is to start printing uh, desk accessories. So. As you can see, a lot of the prints that are out now are for Christmas. You kind of have to go where the money is in the beginning so I can try and make some of this money back. Uh, so I started printing some Christmas idea or some Christmas ornaments. Uh, let's see if I can't find those Christmas ornaments. So I started printing some Christmas ornaments um, and little snowmen, things like that. Just trying to uh, print some stuff. I actually, my nieces have a... Um, my nieces have a like secret Santa workshop thing this weekend that I'm going to attend and sell some of this stuff. So I'm making fidgets and different dragons and I made some of these little polar bears as well. Um, these are going to be keychains, not what I want to sell at all, but I figured I might as well get into, um, you know, some of these little things that I know would sell really well at a little school event as I go and make money doing these things, I can reinvest and uh, pay off some of these things here. So that's kind of why I decided to go and start printing some of these things, even though it's not aligned with what the actual business is gonna be. I figured might as well make a little bit of money, especially around the Christmas time. Now, let me show you what I actually plan on making and uh, talk about that. So over in my office now, there's my, my office here. So actually right next to it, there's my dog Kona. Uh, it's right next to the print farm, whatever we wanna call it, I don't know. Uh, this is actually what I want to be printing. Uh, not this specific design, but just desk accessories. So my very first print was actually this item right here. It's just a, a little pen holder. Uh, but then my second print, and what actually caused me to get that bigger printer was this item right here. So it's a multi-use, so I can put my AirPods on the side, 
I can put my Apple Watch charger and then I can MagSafe charge. Um, this is not the phone. I'm actually filming on the phone that this goes with. But then I can put my phone here and then when it's docked, it actually goes into uh, display mode. So this is what I plan on printing. Uh, this is what I plan on printing when it comes to uh, the business is desk accessories. So these are some of the ideas that I found online and I'm going to iterate off of those. Which is probably some of the scariest part. I've never 3D printed anything in my life up until a couple of weeks ago when I bought this printer. But I know it is relatively simple to learn like Fusion 365 and there's a lot of different things as well. So I am going to be printing more or printing, making more videos like this and just going over my process. So really where I am now with the business is trying to recoup some of the money back from the printers by making some Christmas decorations and Christmas ornaments and Christmas gifts, things along those lines. But we really plan on taking this to uh, desk accessories and going after that industry. So if you guys want to follow along on my journey, like I said, I'm going to be putting out a lot of shorts, a lot of uncut videos like this where we're kind of just talking and going over where the business is. Go ahead and give me a follow. Like the video if this was helpful. I would really appreciate any support and any comments down below helping me along this journey as well. Like I said, I'm just starting out and I really want to turn, see if I can turn this into a full-time income as well. So I'm going to be taking it slower than I did my last adventure when it comes to the woodworking side of things, keeping my full-time job until this pays the bills, which again, like I said, we'll go into some videos talking about that. But uh, this channel, like I said, is going to be talking about woodworking, talking about 3D printing. That sounds interesting. Go ahead and leave a follow. Go ahead and call you. Uh, talk to you guys later. See ya.